Last week, we spent time with the IC Hexapod. This week, we were invited to the Institute of Engineering and Technology for the Humanoid Robotics Symposium to meet a much more advanced kind of robot dubbed the iCub. It's one of the smallest high-complexity humanoids ever built. In fact, this robot is believed to be the most advanced in Europe, taking on the guise of a three-and-a-half-year-old toddler which experts hope will provide the basic platform for building robots in the future. We've been told the iCub can walk and crawl and is capable of hand-to-eye coordination, head motion and can even catch. But with over 20 different versions being developed across 11 European universities, not all of these features are packed into each robot. We spoke to Tom Carlson, a PhD student from Imperial College London, whose team is working closely with the iCub and its human action development to tell us more. So the iCub is this uh, three to four year old child robot. Um, it's been developed by an EU consortium uh, headed up by the Italian Institute of Technology. Um, and it's all open source hardware and software, which means anyone theoretically can kind of copy and make their own version of the iCub. It was coming from the idea of uh, developmental robotics, learning um, about children and robots and seeing whether robots can evolve in the same way that a child does perhaps. Uh, this particular model can crawl, but uh, at the moment we've uh, stuck it to the bench and at Imperial we're mostly dealing with the upper body, uh, grasping, reaching, uh, perceiving, using the eyes. The initial project was a, a five-year European Union project um, and this robot is one that our lab uh, at Imperial was uh, awarded to use in our own research. Well, the iCub's still in a, a kind of academic uh, stage. As I said, learning to uh, interact with humans and uh, maybe copy what they're doing or um, learn from humans. Uh, there are other projects that are going on um, with uh, tactile sensing so you can get more feedback. And uh, I think Plymouth University are learning uh, or developing new legs so the robot can walk on its own. So it's, uh, lots of different universities are all using this as a tool to uh, apply different algorithms and uh, either learning about perception or understanding or, as I said, Plymouth University are, are using it to learn about walking. I don't see the iCub going into the household in the, in the near future, but obviously it's a cutting-edge uh, humanoid technology here. It's got 53 degrees of freedom, so it's a very versatile robot that can move a lot. Um, however, we're using it to learn more about how robots can learn from humans, um, thinking about the cognitive architecture, how it can learn from demonstration and things like that.